What would the Ninja Turtles be without their vehicles to go with their ninja accoutrement? In this review, we are taking a look at two bikes from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem line from Playmates Toys. The Ninja Kick Cycle with Leonardo and Battle Cycle with Raphael. Rev those engines and slam on that subscribe button. Out of box, these cycles need no assembly. They're ready to be played with immediately. The molding on these is lovely. Mechanical details cover every inch of the bikes, and both also have that jagged, slightly grungy mutant mayhem aesthetic to them, which looks super cool. The paintwork is also cleanly applied and almost indistinguishable from the molded color sections of the toys. The Ninja Kick Cycle includes a special helmeted Leonardo figure, two firing discs, and Leo's two katana. Leo has all the articulation necessary to easily sit on the cycle while gripping the handlebars. Now, you could have him ride in a normal pose, but you'd be missing out on the key feature. Lift his legs up into a splits formation and twist the pizza insignia on the back to twist Leo into the air for some flashy kicks. Turning the slice back and forth will make Leo kick to and fro, and centering it will bring him back down onto the seat on his own. This feature is awesome. Load a disc and push the front slice forward to launch it a modest distance. There's also weapon storage for only one katana, which is peculiar, but thankfully, Leo can store the other one on his back. The battle cycle comes with a helmeted Raphael, his two Sai, and one telltale nunchuck. Raph's vehicle is more similar to a moped than a motorcycle, but it features a super cool improvised sidecar that can be situated in the back or to the side. If you have the Mutant Mayhem Turtles figures sold separately, you can stick one into the sidecar for an even better display. You can put any turtle brother in there, but I mean, come on. They give you a nunchuck. It's meant for little Mikey. While Leo's bike has trouble standing on its own, Raph's battle cycle stands with no effort in either configuration. Also, there's storage for both Psy. Which cycle is more your style? Tell us which you'd rather ride into battle down in the comments. The Ninja Kick Cycle and Battle Cycle have great pros. They both come with special helmeted and great looking turtle figures. They're very well detailed in both paint and sculpt. The play features work great, and they roll very well. The only con is that Leo's Ninja Kick Cycle can't stand on its own, mostly a note for those who will wish to display rather than play. Also, the discs don't fire all that far. No cons for the battle cycle, though. All in all, we give the TMNT, Mutant Mayhem, Ninja Kick Cycle, and Battle Cycle from Playmates Toys a collective 4.5 out of 5 stars. Both are certainly worth your time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.